Hi all, let's see the difference between where let constant in terms of hosting, scope, memory, and redeclarations. Yep, I will uh, take a sample code here. Yeah, this is regarding the hosting example. So in a JavaScript, what does hosting mean? Hosting means it is a mechanism where it moves the variable declarations and functions to the top of its nearest scope, only declarations, not the initializations. So for example, if I declare like this, a function with hosting and I'm trying to call that function where uh, I'm trying to print the value of A before assigning this. So now let's check what we get. We get undefined here because how this hosting is internally defined. So it would look like this internally, like uh, as we discussed hosting, only the declarations are moved to the top of its nearest scope. The var would be moved to the top here. Next to this line, we, we are trying to use or print the value of A. So that's the reason we are getting undefined here. So this is uh, not correct because if A has, if we do any of operations on A, so we'll get an uh, ambiguity results at the runtime. There won't be any appropriate or correct results at the end will get an ambiguity. So that's the reason. So if if we use let here, so the let and constant, these are the new ES6 uh, variables. I mean, uh, the types we can use instead of where, we can use let and constant, where this let and constant defined variables are not hosted to the top. So that's the reason at the compile time itself, we'll be getting an error like this. So we need to resolve that fast. In that case, we won't get any operations. I mean, we, we are not allowed to use a variable before declaring. So in that case, you can uh, use appropriate uh, values. We'll be getting an, uh, no, we'll not get any ambiguity results there. So that's all about the hosting and coming to constant here. The why the constant hosting is not allowed for the constant means the term constant and its variable. I have declared a constant a10. So hosting, what does it do? It moves uh, the declarations to the top. But for the constant, when we declare a constant a, as soon as we declare it, we need to initialize it. So that's the reason hosting won't work for let and constant. So this is all about the hosting. So let's discuss about the scope scope part. So this is a, an, a sample code for scope. So we all know where is a function level scope, whereas let is a block level scope. We have used a for loop here. This is a block level here. We can write here uh, some code like a looping an uh, array or something else. We can write a code here. So once this uh, block of code for loop was done, still, still the I value would be available here. So let's check that once. So still you can uh, use the value of i here. But what is the use of using this i value after the for loop, I mean, our work was done. So as var is a function level scope, this i is available throughout this function. So that's the reason once the work is done or the block of this for loop was done also, we could be able to access the i variable, which is not correct. Be because this, the memory would be allocated for i until the end of the function which is not correct. Once the work was done, we can, JavaScript engine can free up this memory. The, in that way, we can use the memory optimally. So that's the reason as var has a function level scope, even uh, it is available throughout the function. So that's the reason we can access i out of this block as well. So that's the reason we have let and constant. So where its scope is limited to the nearest block, where once the work was done with this i within this for loop, the JavaScript engine can free up the memory for this i. In that way, the memory can be used optimally. So now you check this, i is not different. So i is not accessible to this because the scope of i is limited to this block. So that's the reason. Try to use the let and constant variables to the nearest block level scope so that the memory can be used optimally. Once this block is done, the memory would be freed up. If you use where, even the work was done, it, the memory would be allocated till the function ends. So that's the main disadvantage of uh, using where or let and constant. That's all about the scope and uh, memory. So coming to the redeclaration part. So let's see this. So yeah, uh, I will uh, comment this once. So what does this redeclaration mean? So where A is equal to global, I can do this. 
and immediately I can do where A and I can change this. Redeclare. I can use a variable like this. I mean, this is allowed for where. I mean, we can redeclare the variables twice and also we can uh, we can modify it like this for where. Whereas coming to the let, if I modify where and I keep a let like this. So now it will not allow us because it will say the variable was already declared. It, this is not uh, allowed for let and constant as well. We can't redeclare the variables. Whereas we can update the variable for let, but for constant, we can't redeclare it like this and we can't update the value as well. So that's that's for constant. So let's, this is a small uh, intro for the redeclaration and update. Let's see at the problem or uh, a function. Now, now we have a function here where I will call this function redeclare. I have declared a variable A to the function scope and I have a, another block level scope A. So we can do this. Uh, both the scopes, uh, this scope is for the function. This scope is for the block level. Even though if you observe the A value would be printed as a local because A is uh, scope has to the functional. That's the reason the local value is assigned here. It would be overridden the global value. So now if you print the console value, we'll be getting local. Let's check that we'll get, we got local. It means we don't know whether if this block is executed or not. In that case, this value is overridden by the local local value, which is not correct. The value or the variables which are declared to the block, that should be only uh, useful at that block, not out of the block. As we have used the same variable and the scope of where is at the functional level, the value of this global was replaced with the local. So that's the reason after this scope also, in A, we are getting local, not global, which is not correct. So let's do with let. Let's see what happens if we replace where with let. So now you, if you check, we got global because let has a local level scope. I mean, it is a block level scope. Once this block was done, the let this let A is different from this let A. As this is block level scope, once this is done, the A value would be global. So now that's the reason after this block also, the A value is still global. So these are uh, for the redeclaring and updating the values. So hope you understand the video. Thanks for watching.